Like, how do you do like the cool swag with it? Hey guys, Alexa here, and I'm so excited to have one of Houston's best mixologists here on Let's Get Lexi. Alex Negronza, thank you so much for coming. I am so excited. So I reached out to you guys on the socials and asked you what kind of drink you would want Alex to make, and you guys voted a pineapple drink. Of course. Of course, yeah. Yeah. So I was happy about that. And you came up with? We're gonna make a pineapple daiquiri. And you can have this any season of the year. Yeah, actually one of the funny things about limes is that they're back actually best in the wintertime. Oh. Even though we love drinking margaritas and daiquiris in the summer when it's hot, yeah. the best limes come out in the winter. Perfect, that's yeah. definitely good to know. All right, so what do we need? We are gonna be using this really awesome rum. It's by a company called Plantation. It's a pineapple rum, which a lot of people think that like flavored rums are really terrible, but this is actually a really cool pineapple rum where they use real pineapples and they actually kind of distill it with it. And so there's a there's a bunch of natural flavors, not just like artificial yellow number five. Sure. So we're gonna use that rum. We're gonna use limes. We've where just- Where can people find this rum? You can find it almost at any liquor store that has a good rum. Okay. Really, I mean, it's, it is, yeah, that rum totally has it. There you go. For all you California people. Yeah. Oh, that's right, there isn't one here. Yeah. Specs. Specs. For everyone else. Yeah, <laughs> in Texas, yeah. <laughs> we juice some lime juice. Fresh, he literally squeezed this himself, you guys. I did. I saw him. Yeah, gonna have to work out with Hunter I to get more limes out later. sat down and watched it. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have pineapple juice too that's also fresh. I think that one of the things that's really difficult for people to do is to get access to great ingredients. And something that's cool about having places like Central Market in Texas or like a Whole Foods or someplace is that you can go to these places and they have fresh pineapple juice like sitting next to all their other fresh juices and they juice in the house. So you can really easily make a great cocktail without having to buy like canned pineapple or like those plastic lime bottles that you, you know, like your parents Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like no one the wants to make it. shape of like the lime. Exactly. Lemon. No one wants to make a daiquiri with that. No. Um, so fresh stuff, you, if you don't want to juice it yourself, you can go to Whole Foods and buy it. There you go. Easy. Yeah, little tips and Look tricks. Look how great this looks, by the way. Tell me how important is the glass to the drink? I I actually once heard you say vessel and vessel. I have <laughs> used it in like all of my coffee reviews. I think that it's really important because so like if you want a cold drink, you don't want something that you have to wrap your hand around because then okay. your skin's gonna and your body's gonna warm it up, which is gonna make it not taste as great because it's meant to be served cold. So it's really important to think about what you're doing and what kind of class where you're putting it in. Okay. That's good but, to know. So I, why did you choose these ones? I love these ones because they're kind of elegant, they're kind of cute, and a real great daiquiri. I think some people think daiquiris are always frozen and blended, but I think a great daiquiri comes in a, like, a glass like this. Ooh, very yeah. on brand. Okay. All right, so how do we make this? Okay, so we're both gonna make one of these. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, so I'm gonna shake and you're gonna shake. We're gonna okay. do it together. You guys, this is really such an honor to have Alex here showing us how to make this firsthand. Alex is like on covers of magazines and stuff for his mixology skill. So this is very, very cool. Okay, sorry to interrupt you. You're totally fine. I'm so excited to be here. I think a lot of times people think that there's this really complicated process to bartending and ultimately it's just mixing things up and shaking it together, but making people happy. And when you're mixing with alcohol, that usually helps. Yes. <laughs> I also think it's super cool too, to be the person that's like, can make the really solid drink at a party. Yeah, I mean, we talk about it a lot in being a great bartender, you get to host a party for work every day. That's so and cool. people just get to come to you and you yeah, let's do this. Let's so, do it. I'm gonna show you how to party. Every day. <laughs> Go ahead. No. <laughs> so, okay, first we're gonna take this rum and we're just gonna fill this up to the top. It's gonna be about two ounces. Okay. So you go first and then I'll go over here. Two ounces. Yep. Nailed it. Perfect. Okay, just pour it in. Yep. All right, and now you're gonna use this side of this one. Okay. And you're gonna put three quarter ounce of lime juice and three quarter ounce of pineapple juice. That's the whole thing of this, right? Yeah. And okay. then I'm gonna build some over here too. I have like no swag to any of my pouring, so. <laughs> Perfect, I'm gonna do the same. Cool. So far, so good. Pretty So easy. far, so good. And then if someone can't get access to like fresh ingredients, yeah. is it okay to use store-bought, like you run to Kroger or Ralph's or whatever yeah. to get and pick up concentrated? Yeah, I mean, ultimately it's about what you like and what you like drinking, right? I'm used to working with fresh ingredients, right? I think you could talk to any chef or any baker and they'll tell you the same thing, like, sure, we all have our preferences to using things that we 
have a relationship with or that sure. we really enjoy. But at the end of the day, it's whatever you like to, to mess with. Sure. Okay, so this is a simple syrup. Yeah, which he also just whipped up, you guys, in my kitchen before this video. There. I didn't even see him make it. I know he made it. I just didn't even see it. That's how fast <laughs> it was. How did you make this simple syrup? So, I like using what's actually a little bit more of a rich simple syrup where you use a two to one recipe. So you use two parts sugar to one part water okay. and you use hot water. So what I did is we would do something like one cup of hot water and two cups of sugar. Got it. So that it's instead of a one to one, right? So we use a two to one here and the reason I like that is because you don't have to use as much of the sugar, which when you're working with cocktails, you kind of want something that's just really straight into the point. You don't want something that's going to be really liquidy and watery. Okay. So when you can make a rich simple syrup, you can have something that's a little bit more approachable and easy. Got it. So I will put the recipe down below if you guys didn't catch that. So we're going to use a half ounce of that that's okay. on the back side here. Perfect. How's that? Perfect. Yes. Oh, it's okay. Splash the classic on. bartender keep a bar rag on your shoulder. Oh. All right, now we're going to add ice and shake. All right, you have a really amazing shake motion. <laughs> so I'm excited for you guys to see it and I'm excited to learn how to do it. So, a little Carmen Miranda into it. Yeah, we can bring out the Puerto Rican side. You yeah, know can you I mean? add in that music? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> so, we're going to fill this up with a bunch of ice. Okay. Perfect. That one's gonna be for you. Okay. And then people, if they don't have like these jiggers at home, mm -hmm. what could they use instead to measure out? Just like a measuring cup? Um, well, it depends. Things. I would use, I think that if you're gonna be bartending at home, especially for guests, it's really easy to order one online. Okay. They cost maybe $10 and it's something that's super useful, especially because so many people love bartending nowadays at home. And yeah. It's so approachable that I would definitely recommend just buying one and just getting, I can, Give you a link to show one. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So we'll put that link in the description below as well, guys. Okay, so we're gonna seal these up. Oh All my right. gosh, this makes me so nervous. Okay. How did you seal this? So I just put the lid right on top and I just press down. Yep, and I'm it'll stay together. White shirt. Let's <laughs> so, a couple things that we're gonna do here. Okay. I'm gonna flip this over. And what I want you to do is make sure that you're gonna press down okay. with this hand and you're gonna press up with this hand. So you're kind of squeezing uh, it together, okay? okay? Oh, and then okay. you're just gonna shake it. This is feel? so much better <laughs> than mine. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> How do you even? <laughs> Like if Hunter if Hunter and I were still dating and he were to come over and I were to make this for him, this is what he'll see. <laughs> so you what either I have do, it or you don't. Yeah. So what <laughs> I do is I yeah. think about pushing and pulling. Yeah. And you have to kind of like think of it as like a shake weight. Like. Oh, he would like this. <laughs> he would actually like this. <laughs> he'll be like, I'll stand behind. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Now we're, I'm gonna help you break this open. We're yeah. Gonna pop it off just like that. And we're gonna do something called fine strain. Some people like those little ice crystals in cocktails. Yeah. I don't like them personally. Okay. Unless I'm having like a really like dirty shaken martini, which sometimes I That's love. That's my favorite drink. And so you're gonna hold this. Okay. And you're just gonna fill her up. All right, here we go. Like this? Yep. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. You got it, look at it. Ooh, look at this move. Perfect. Get my garnish on right, let's see. That's amazing. I can't even taste the alcohol. That's the dangerous part. That is the dangerous A part. A really great cocktail that you can't taste the alcohol in. <laughs> this is extremely delicious and refreshing. It's great. It almost feels like, like just really satisfying. Like it quenches your thirst and it probably shouldn't. And that's something that's really great about a well-made daiquiri, especially with like really great lime juice, is that you taste it and you're like, oh, it's just refreshing. Yeah, I had no idea daiquiri could be that refreshing. Yeah. I guess and now it's you the ones I've had are like crappy ones in like New Orleans or something. <laughs> yeah, like the sour mix plus that are rum. like, yeah. yeah. But this one's really good. Alex, this is amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Now we have to get the real taste tester down. Oh yeah. Hunter, we also have another special guest here, Eggie. <laughs> here, I'll give this one to Hunter since I drink out of this one. Okay, ooh, this is fancy. Isn't it? This one. Ooh. Cheers. Yeah, I feel Cheers. luxury. To happy, Eggie's Cheers. Birthday. happy birthday. Oh. It's all good. The floor was thirsty. When you know. <laughs> Isn't that good? That is amazing. That's delicious. Yeah. This has alcohol in it? 
Right? Just a little bit. She made that. I made that one. I didn't make that one. I love this taste. Yours is probably like six points better. I'm a very, <laughs> I'm a very mine. big fan of like citrusy and, and like sour. Here. And it's mm -hmm. like got that like really like good, perfect taste. This one was made this by me. A little lime by action in there? Yeah. This one was made by Alex. Okay. His is a little bit better. I think maybe mine had a little I bit think, too much sweet stuff. I think we just need to add more hip to you. Right. <laughs> a little yeah. more, hip, more hip and I think it'll happen. Yeah. I think they're both good. They both are good. They're both good. Yes. Y'all did it. We yeah. did it. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna enjoy this. Bye. Yeah, see you later. <laughs> it's delicious, right? Right? Cool. There you have it. Is well, it? there you have it, you guys. Alex, thank you so much for coming on. And you guys, let me know how you like this cocktail. And if you guys make this cocktail, be sure to tag Alex and I in the photo because we love to see you guys making the stuff that we create here on Let's Get Lexi. And until next time, I'll see you in the chat. Bye. You have to try this cocktail. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, let me know in the comments below what cocktail you want Alex to make next. And if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and hit that sub button. And I'll see you in the chat. Bye.